channel so on today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create some poison bottles for Halloween you can put these on your background a display or anything you have in mind but soon I will let you guys know why the reasons why I'm creating this whole things when I put in one video all together but yeah so on today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create some poison bottles for Halloween so I got all of these at Dollar Tree as you guys can see this bottles in some containers at Dollar Tree paint glue sticks a little tray to place your paints a sand sponge brushes glue gun I got these labels off from the computer I'll be linking it down below where I got these from scissors color pencils or markers tape and I have this garland of skulls but these are for decorations and also with the jams for the box yeah, so if you guys want to stay tuned for this video keep on watching First things first, I'm going to grab this labels and I'm just going to color only on the letters just to make it look realistic. Just a little bit because I still want that grayish, dark, spooky undertone but I'm just going to add like yellow and oranges, a little bit of red but yeah. So this is how it looks. So with this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not, but you guys will see soon on this video. And the reasons why I'm just choosing those three is because, as you guys can see, only the labels are going to fit on these three. But you guys will see soon what I will be creating for those last two right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as the rest of these two labels. So this is how it looks and I forgot to mention guys so when you put it like this make sure you cut around as much as possible not too much but it needs to look exactly something like this. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one. these two bottles I'm gonna show you guys um, different ways you can decorate like poison bottles so this these two right here I'm gonna make it look realistic so on these I'm gonna paint on the outside but you guys will see later on those over there so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sand sponge and on this side as you can see the difference so we're going for this side and I'm gonna start um, blending just to give it that realistic look that we need not too harsh but you guys will see how this looks I'm gonna show you before and after pictures of these dark black paint and this one is by multi surface and this one is in the shade black acrylic paints so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one right here I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do another coat until I see there is no spots left behind of this but yeah so this is how it looks for now for this little one right here I'm gonna go ahead and take off the top and I'm gonna go ahead and mix the gray color with the black and then I'm gonna start painting this around this little one I'm gonna go ahead and take off everything what's inside of here and then I'm going to paint this one black Then I'm gonna also 
go ahead and take off the label or I'm gonna try to take this off as much as possible if I can I'm just gonna go ahead and over paint this with black bottle containers are looking so I put two coats on each of them if you want to go ahead and use three coats you can do that but for me I'm just gonna go ahead and go with two coats but for now they're drying and I'll show you guys the next step now since my bottles are dried already I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these labels with a tape as you guys seen how the way I did this I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the middle of the bottle I'm gonna do for this one and also this one right here so since my label doesn't fit I'm gonna go ahead and cut underneath the label right here like this to make it fit just like so now for the clear bottle I'm gonna go ahead and use the last label and then again I'm gonna put this on the center like this so now for this part as you guys know my labels and the paint is all dried up so these are going to be my poison bottles whatever you guys want to call it so with this part I have my glue gun going and my glue sticks so now I'm gonna go ahead and make lines around the labels and I'm gonna do like circular lines squiggly lines dots whatever you have in mind so the reasons why I'm doing this is because it's gonna give it that vintage spooky rustic look but yeah so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do I got uh, these hearts lace stickers from Dollar Tree so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the smaller one and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, my scissors and then I'm gonna cut uh, the heart in half and this is going to give it that beautiful illusion you apply paint on this but I'm gonna go ahead and put it here then right here And then I'm gonna go ahead and 
do my bones. So now these are my bottles, how the way they are looking right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this acrylic aqua shimmer paint color and I really love this a shimmer any kind of color I was gonna get the white one but I decided to go ahead and use this color so now I'm gonna go ahead and use a fan brush just a little bit guys I'm gonna show you how you can create texture with this but this is going to give it that texture vintage Halloween spooky kind of look using with this a shimmer or any kind of color I'm gonna do the same with the rest. container right here I'm going to apply these um, snail bugs and some eyes inside of here to make it like there's something creepy inside of these bottles part right here is optional so I wanted to do something like a snowball globe with glitter so right here is water and red soap and I added black and red glitter and I added a little bit of one tablespoon of fluid coloring but you can do it as much as deep as possible the red color as your personal preference but this is how it looks so with this, I am only going to apply this bottle right here and on the little one. Now 
cover the poison black bottle I'm gonna add one skeleton on the side hanging so I got these from the dollar store this little small little poison bottle for this one I'm going to grab a yarn and inside in here I added a hand of a skeleton and a little cross so I'm going to insert this one here on top For this bottle right here and for this one right here, I am going to grab some um, Mod Bodge and some tissue paper and this one I'm going to cut it in two just like so and then I am going to go ahead and cut it one more time then I am going to go ahead and crumble these up like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and use it and then I'm going to place this only on the top of the bottle So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to go ahead and add uh, some glue on top of the bottle. Okay, gonna, I'm going to make some drips and I'm going to let this drip by some. on the sides on the front on the side so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some black paint so excuse the background so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the skeleton and then I'm going to place this around the cap right here so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint at the tops of these bottles and I'm gonna go ahead and mix the blue with the black and white with a fan brush to add texture and on the sides as well lightly with the brush
So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the DIY and how to make poison bottles for Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed every second of this video. Thank you so much and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.